वेलकम टू ग्रुप एक्शन नाइन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस ए प्रॉब्लम आज इन द नेट एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ दिसंबर 2017 हेल्ड इन इंडिया द प्रॉब्लम इज द ग्रुप एस थ्री ऑफ परमिटेश थ्री डायमेंशनल वैक्टर स्पेस ओवर द फील्ड एफ थ्री ऑफ द थ्री एलिमेंट्स बाई परमिटिंग द वैक्टर्स इन बेसिस ई वन ई टू ई थ्री बाई सिगमा ऑफ ई आई is equal to e sigma i for all sigma in s3 the cardinality of the set of vectors fixed under above action is option number 1 0 option number 2 3 option number 3 9 and option number 4 is 27 so we have to solve it so before that let us see what is s3 so as we know the s3 is the group having zero identity element this is permutation 1 2 that is 1 is going to 2 and 2 is going to 1 1 3 that is 1 is going to 3 and 3 is going to 1 and the remaining symbol that is 2 is fixed 2 3 1 one is fixed 2 is going to 3 3 is going to 2 and 1 2 3 means 1 is going to 2 2 is going to 3 and 3 is going to 1 and 1 3 2 means 1 is going to 3 3 is going to 2 and 2 is going to 1 So suppose, for example, I take uh, one element sigma to be one, two, three in S three. Then what will happen is that, by definition, sigma of e one is equal to e sigma one. But uh, e sigma one means the image of one under sigma. So this is sigma. Image of one is two. So this is say e two. Similarly, sigma of e two means e sigma two, and image of two under sigma is three. So this is e three. And similarly, sigma of e three is equal to e sigma three, that is e one, because sigma three is one. So, actually, this s three is acting on the vector space, and uh, whenever I am choosing some element sigma in s three, by definition, what this sigma is doing, sigma is permuting the basis element e1 e2 e3 so each sigma in s3 gives us a bijective map from e1 e2 e3 to e1 e2 e3 which is a basis element and we know one thing that if we have a vector space and we know a basis on it of it and we have a map from basis to basis then that map can always be extended to a linear transformation of the whole vector space so it means if any of if we choose sigma to be any of these elements then that sigma will induce a linear transformation on the given vector space for example if we take same sigma just now we have taken suppose i take a vector v to be a linear combination of basis element alpha 1 e1 plus alpha 2 e2 plus alpha 3 e3 in vector space and alpha belongs to f3 then because we can extend the map to a linear transformation then for the same sigma is equal to 1 2 3 if i see then sigma of v can always be written as alpha 1 Sigma e1 plus alpha 2 sigma e2 plus alpha 3 sigma e3 because sigma is a linear transformation now so sigma when we will operate sigma will operate on the whole of this and because of linear transformation it will get distributed and a scalar will come out okay so but uh, as we have just now seen that sigma of e1 is e2 sigma of e2 is e3 and sigma of e3 is e1 so it means if i will calculate for a given uh, vector v for this sigma sigma v will be alpha 1 e2 plus alpha 2 e3 plus alpha 3 e1 we have to determine those ve vectors in this vector space those vectors v in this vector space for which sigma v is equal to v so now 
so if v is fixed uh, under the action of S3 means sigma v is equal to v for all sigma in S3. So it should also be true that sigma v is equal to v for sigma is equal to 1 to 3. So as we can see that sigma v is alpha 1 e2 plus alpha 2 e3 plus alpha 3 e1 for this sigma and uh, v is this thing and both should be equal. But e1, e2, e3 are the basis elements, so it means their coefficients in both the expression, this side and this side, should be equal. So, comparing the coefficient, we have alpha 1 is equal to alpha 2 is equal to alpha 3, because this alpha 1 should be equal to the coefficient of e2, that is alpha 2, and uh, coefficient of e3 is alpha 2, and uh, coefficient of here is alpha 3, so alpha 1 should be equal to alpha 2, alpha 2 should be equal to alpha 3. So, all these coefficients should be equal. And these coefficients are from the field F3 that is 0, 1, 2. F3 elements 0, 1, 2. So a vector V is fixed by a single element sigma is equal to 1, 2, 3. If and only if V is of the form alpha times E1 plus E2 plus E3 where alpha belongs to 0, 1, 2. So there, there are only three vectors V which are fixed by this sigma. And we have to determine the vectors which are fixed by all the elements. So it means out of these three elements, there may be some elements or all the elements which are fixed by the other S3 also. Because if it is fixed by all the elements, it should be fixed by at least one element. And um, uh, if I take sigma to be 1, 2, 3, then there is only three vectors which are fixed by this sigma. So we need to check that how many of these vectors are fixed by the other elements of S3. So suppose I take uh, another element sigma to be 1, 2 and I apply this sigma on this V. Then what will happen? Sigma of V is equal to alpha times sigma E1 plus sigma E2 plus sigma E3 and uh, because it is 1, 2 so sigma E1 is E2 and sigma E2 is E1 and sigma E3 is fixed so E3. So this is alpha times e1 plus e2 plus e3 that is again v. So it means this uh, vector v is also fixed by sigma is equal to 1, 2. Similarly we can check that this vector is also fixed by sigma is equal to 1, 3, sigma is equal to 2, 3 and sigma is equal to 1, 3, 2. So it means this vector is fixed by all the sigma in S3. So there are only three vectors which are fixed by all the elements of S3 and these are the three vectors for alpha is equal to 0 e1 plus e2 plus e3 into 0 that is 0 1 into e1 plus e2 plus e3 that is e1 plus e2 plus e3 where 1 is an element of the field and 2 times e1 plus e2 plus e3 that is 2 e1 plus 2 e2 plus 2 e3 and 2 belongs to f3 so these are the three vectors so the answer is option number 2 and the answer is 3 thank you